Hey all, welcome to another LTM Designer tutorial and today we're going to look about how we took our schematic from the last video and put it to a PCB. If it's your first time to this channel, thanks for joining. So Plumpart, we normally do some KiCad and Altium PCB design tutorials as well as work on some hobby projects at home like our drone and the upcoming project we're doing now is a smart chessboard. So if that sounds interesting, just hit that like and subscribe button and we'll teach you guys how to do some fun electronic stuff. But this video is about PCB design using Altium Designer. So let's get started. If this is your first Altium Designer tutorial video, I would suggest you go to our previous videos on our playlist called creating a project in Altium Designer and creating a schematic in Altium Designer. That's a good foundation to have to go to the next stage of making your own PCB. So we designed this easy to understand circuit in our previous video with a resistor and LED. So what we can do now is how do I take these components and make a real PCB? So if you're not too sure what a PCB is, this is a PCB. So this is the chessboard I spoke about. You can see I've got my resistors and some read switches with a microcontroller. So my goal is to show you guys the basics of PCB design. So in the future, you guys can create something like this. So this is the next project we are doing uh, building with you guys uh, a smart chessboard, but this is not what this video is about I will make a separate video explaining how you can make this and program it in the future So the first thing we have to do is tell Altium to take my schematic my schematic symbols and put it on a PCB So first we do is file We can right click on our project and need to project PCB and there is your PCB if you push 3 You'll see you'll get a nice green board PCB to move it, you keep in shift and your right button, and then you can move it like this. Middle mouse button, you can zoom in and out. So let's rename it. It's always good practice just to keep it exactly the same name as your project and your schematic. So what I normally do is I just copy it and then enter like this, and now you can see these two. So you can see on the left hand side, creating schematic, my PCB and my schematic in one folder, in one source document. You can see I've got my small, small chessboard here and you can see all the documents in there as well. So you have different projects on the left hand side in your project group, um, but we're only focusing on our schematic and our PCB. Now that we have created our PCB, we need to take this in a 2D world and put it on our PCB. So what we do is we go design, update document, and you'll see you'll get this engineering change order. So some PCB design is engineering change order, engineering change request. Um, so you'll see it wants to add my components, D1, which is my LED. It wants to add R1, which is my resistor. And it wants to add P1, which is this connector. Then it wants to add my nets. So my nets is basically the wires in between here. You'll see it on the PCB. So it wants to add a ground net, which is that, a 3 volt 3 net, which is that. You can see my 3 volts there, my 3 volts there my ground there, ground there, and then we've got net D1, 2, which is this one. So net going to my D1, pin 2, so it's this net in the middle. And then you don't have to worry about too much about rooms, and then you can just execute changes. And easy as that, it pops up. And there's your first real components on a PCB. Now that we have our components on a board, we can see this board is pretty big. <laughs> it's a bit too big just for a connector to put on a basic LED. So how do we define our board shape, we first have to add a board layer. To do that, we push L for layer, and then we can see a mechanical layer. So your board is a mechanical part, so it's over here. You right click and say add mechanical layer, and then at the bottom here, you can choose board. And you'd, I normally just make it board outline. Now the first thing we have to do is click on our board outline layer. So at the bottom here, you can see top layer, which is your copper layer on top. So if I place a track, that is where it will happen, but I'll get there later. And bottom layer, where's the bottom, and then your board layer. Those are the three most important ones for now. I'll make a lad later another video explaining more in detail about all this stuff, but I think the video will get too cluttered if I do that. So I choose board outline, I say place line, and I create a line. So to make it able to change the way you have different angles of placing this line, so you can see there it's free, there it is straight, there it is a bit rounded, there it's straight again. I use shift spacebar and then I can change this. 
So I want it straight because I just want to create a board. Now that we have created a board outline, what you have to do is highlight all of them. So you can either highlight all of it or you can click on one and push tab and it will highlight all of it. And then you go to tools, you go to design, board shape, define board shape from selected objects. And there we go. We just created a smaller board. So if you push three now, you can see our PCB board got smaller. Now we can move our components on this board. And you can see, there we go. We just created a smaller PCB, perfect for just powering an LED. Now that we have our components on, we can rotate it by pushing spacebar. So if I highlight one, I can push spacebar and rotate it just to make more space. If I want to put it on the bottom, so PCB always has a top layer and a bottom layer. So if I want to move these components to the bottom, I just highlight it, move it like this and push L for layer. So you can see when I push L, it will go to the bottom, push three again for 3D and now that component's at the bottom. So L is for changing the component from top to bottom or bottom to top. These letters and numbers on top are called designators. So if you follow the schematic tutorial, you'll see I've got designate D1R1. The importance of this is how it this is what causes it to link to your PCB. So when I click on that, this is this. So, so if I click on this, it will highlight this. So it shows that it's quite nicely linked. So that's very important to make sure your designators on your PCB matches your schematic. But if you do design update, it should all work fine. The white lines you see on this PCB is called rat nest, like that small rodent running around eating trees and a nest like a bird nest. Don't ask me why, it's called rat nests. So those are indications of what is supposed to be connected to what. So we've drawn this picture here, the schematic, and we've told it three volts needs to be connected to a resistor. So when we go here, you'll actually see that three volts is connected to my resistor. So this schematic tells the story of how my PCB should be. So it is very important for your schematic to be correct because your PCB will just do what you told it to do on the schematic. If this is correct, it's very difficult for your PCB to be wrong. So keep that in mind, focus a lot on your schematic. To connect it, we have to place a track. So the track is just a copper line. And we, to do that, we push P for place and T for track, or you can just go place track on top here, and then you can connect it. So once you click on something, it will highlight exactly where you have to connect it and you can move it as you please. Again, I place track and I connect it. Place track and I connect it like that. So it's very easy. The most important part is your schematic and then this should all be fine. Later on in our tutorials, we'll speak about track widths and track clearances. But this video, we're just focusing how do I take the story I've told on my schematic and bring it to life on my PCB. So I spoke earlier about you can move your components at the bottom of your PCB if you want. So let's say we, for some reason we want the resistor at the bottom, we push L, it goes to the bottom. So if I push three for 3D, you can see my resistors at the bottom. Now what about the track? The blue means it's my bottom layer. The red means my top layer. So if I want to go from the top to the bottom, we need to use what's called a via. So you can see my blue cannot connect to my red. So I have to create a special portal called a, called a via. To do that, all you do is place via, and then we should get the small via. And there you can see, and now I've got place track. There we go. These two are now connected. So to connect the top and bottom of your PCB, you have to use a component called the via. You can see this is a through all component, so that is all good should be no problem to connect it. So when it's solid like this, it's pads. And when you can see blue with silver, it's a hole. It's actually a hole in the board, as you can see there. So remember, place track, PT, place fire. You can see I use P quite a lot, because please, P is a nice shortcut for place text, or place anything, actually. Place string, place arc, place line. So let's say, example, we want to put text on it. We have to go to the overlay layer, so the top overlay. That's where the text is. That's where the P1 is in D1. So if we say place string, which is a text, we can write on the PCB. And now if you go to your 3D view, you'll see you actually have some text. So the white is actually just text. It's got no continu continuity. It's just for you to use 
for information when you make your PCB. Now that we have routed all our wires, all our tracks, and we can see, okay, it makes sense. Our three volts is going to resistor, our three volts is going to resistor, our resistor is then going to LED, our resistor is going to the LED, and then our LED is going to ground. So you can manually check it like this. But that imagine you've got a board like this and you've got schematics all over the place. You don't want to do it with your own eye. So Altium has a tool for you to check it. So what you can do is go tools, design rule check. So we'll check that your schematic matches your PCB. So we'll go through all that and you say run and you should get no errors or warnings. So that means that what I did here I replicated over here. So it checks all my connections for me. It checks is this connection on my PCB. So let's say I delete this. I delete this. And somehow I missed that. I can do the same. I go to tools, design, rule check, or I go T D R. You guys will soon know I love my shortcuts on my keyboard. It's nice and quick. And then you can see it says unrooted net. So if I click on it and at the bottom, it will tell me, oh, you forgot to connect something. Now I go place track and I disconnect it and I do it again, T, D, R, and now I've got nothing. So it's a very nice way to check your PCB. That's why I'm telling you guys, it's very important that your schematic is correct because if your schematic is correct, Altium does have the tools to make sure that your PCB is correct. And that's it guys, we just created our first ever PCB. So we took our schematic and we brought it to the real world on our PCB. So I did not go too much detail about all the features of Altium. I just want to keep it simple, how you created your schematic to your PCB. So I would advise, just go through it from the beginning to the end, from designing a project to creating a schematic to creating a PCB. Uh, stay tuned because every week I'll bring out a new video building on it. So I'll introduce new features and I will slowly get us that we can build a big board like this together. That's my goal. I hope that was helpful. Please guys, if it was helpful, please comment below. Tell me what other tutorials you would like, what was too difficult, what would you like to know and subscribe, like, all that great stuff. Uh, if you guys want help during the week, please join our Discord channel. I'm always available to ask some questions after work. Uh, besides that, have a fantastic day. Keep in touch. Uh, new video will be out next week. Uh, either KiCad or Altium. I will build up both playlists as we go along, trying to cater for everyone. Have a fantastic day, guys. Bye.